Hello everyone. I'd like to take just a couple of minutes to introduce myself to you. My name is Valerie Beltran and I will be your professor for this class. And I've been in education for a little over 30 years now. I started off as a second grade bilingual teacher. I've taught third grade, fourth grade. I've been a resource teacher K through 12. I've been a professional development specialist doing training for how to work with English learners. I've run a language testing center. I've been an elementary school principal. And I've been at the University of Laverne now starting my 19th year. While I've been at the university, I often go back and do a job share so that I can um, continue to learn and develop my skills as an elementary school teacher, or I'll go and volunteer a lot as well, because I think it's important for us to stay current with what's happening. I've loved every job I've had, some more than others, um, but I just love to teach. It's just, it's just what I do. I'm also a huge sports fan. I grew up outside of Chicago, so I am a diehard Cubbies and Bears fan, and we always say, this year's our year. Um, after meeting my husband, who's from El Salvador, I've learned to love soccer. We have coached all three of our children through soccer. We've been on the ASO board. We ref. Um, we just love soccer. And I also love to travel. When my kids were younger, we couldn't do too much, just trips around California, but I counted this summer and uh, my husband and I have been to over 50 countries, which is very exciting. Here's a picture of my pride and joy, my family. So this is my husband, Jaime. As I mentioned, he is from El Salvador and during the Civil War, in the 80s and early 90s, he was a political prisoner and was granted asylum in the United States. Here is my mom. We are at our all-time favorite restaurant, McClintock's, which is in Shell Beach, uh, not too far from San Luis Obispo, celebrating her 80th birthday. Yes, she is 80 in that picture, even though she doesn't look like it. That was uh, last year. This is my oldest, Irene, my middle, Jaime Jr., and my youngest, Katrina. And this was her fiancé at the time, Matt. They are now married, and um, we, as the years go by, we just get closer. And doesn't mean that we don't ever have our fights, but I think we love and respect each other. This past November, Katrina and Matt got married in Temecula. That's a picture from their wedding. Um, this past summer, my husband and I were very fortunate to be able to spend almost two months in Europe. Part of it, I was doing research about how schools are supporting uh, refugee students, but we also had a lot of fun. So here I am in front of the Trevi Fountain in Rome, where we started our trip. There's the Colosseum at night, which I'd never seen it at night. That was really neat. Here we are in Siena. Um, another highlight was we went and watched the U.S. women's uh, soccer team play in the Women's World Cup in France. So here we are before the game started. And we were, I don't know, about 12 rows up from the field. It was amazing. Here is a Roman bridge. That it just blows me away how old those structures are and how well they still work. That is in um, northern Spain. And uh, I'd go back in a heartbeat, even though the, the plane ride is a little rough. And in my free time, I, I teach a lot, which my husband says is good because it keeps me out of trouble. But I'm bilingual. I'm fluent in in English most of the time, in Spanish most of the time. I'm also, um, I'm pretty fluent in Italian. I've just started to teach myself that over the last couple of years. I love to shop. I love to cook and try new recipes. I'm always planning our next trip and researching it. We have a tradition where whoever is available comes over for dinner and games on Sunday, which it's just precious time. I love to watch sports. I read. I garden. 
and I'm always looking for new adventures. I love to stumble on new things like these cave houses that we found in Spain. So that's just a little bit about me. I look forward to seeing your videos and learning about the things that you're passionate about as well.